Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and we're taking a look at the World 3 3D printer and sampling today. The first thing to know is how to unlock the printer. This is made in the construction bench. There are nine available upgrades. Each upgrade unlocks access to the printer for one additional character. The second thing is there are three quests to complete from haagen -Dazs. The first requires you to turn on the refinery here and cycle for about an hour to gain the required number of redox salt. The second quest requires you to place a trap in the jungle slimes map in World 1. You do need to complete the quest in Trapper's Folly from the only NPC here, the Lord of the Hunt. And then once you've completed this, the last quest you have to do is to build the red and orange signpost in the construction bench. The signposts look like this, and they're located where the 3D printer here is and this wizard tower. Once you've completed those quests, you do gain the printer sampling talent book that is located in the star talent tabs. And now you have all the basic requirements to use the printer. So let's take a look at what it does. So this is the 3D printer here. Initially, you only have access to the first character slot until you upgrade your construction workbench. And then you will gain access to each of your characters respectively, all the way through characters seven through nine. Initially, you only have access to two of the small sample boxes right here, and then one of your printer slots. This is upgradable through gym shop purchases. The first is the more sample slots, which allows you to gain access to the third and fourth for 200 and then 300 gems respectively. And then the second actual printing slot here is the crystal 3D printer, and it allows you to either duplicate or print two separate items. So the small squares here show you the items you have currently sampled for each character, and the large squares show you the icon and the items per hour that you're currently printing. Each of the items you're printing go directly into your storage chest. You don't have to manually collect them. So once you have your printer set up, then you can just sit back and collect all the resources for free. A last little note before we move on. If you collected samples of items that you no longer want to print, the trash can icon here allows you to select the item you want and delete it. This completely removes the sample and it frees up the slot to gather another sample for that item. You don't have to do this if you are just upgrading the sample size of your current items. So now we know what the printer does, but how do we get those samples? In the star talent tabs of page two, you do have the printer sampling talent. You are required to have a minimum of one point in this talent, and it gives you a base rate of 10% of your current AFK gain rate. If you have enough spare points, you can increase this to 100 points to have a base sample rate of 18%. Once you have your points added to this talent, you simply click Assign Attacks and then drag this onto your action bar. So now we're all set to sample, so we head to whatever resource we want to gain. This can be any skills or any monsters that you want their items from. So simply head there, click your attacks, and then click your sample size. When you do this, a number pops up above your head that shows you how much of your current sample you're going to gain. And you have your sample, so we head back to the 3D printer and see our new sample. And we can simply click on this icon and it shows you that you're now printing 1,500 spore caps per hour. Again, you can duplicate this here. And everything is automated, except how do we increase our sample sizes? To start with, sample sizes are based off of your AFK gain rate. So anything you can do to increase your AFK gain rates will affect your sample size. To increase your AFK gain rate, you want to increase your damage, your movement speed, your attack speed on your weapons, and your multi-kill that you can see in your AFK info here. As we can see, we have a high kills per hour, and we need to get a lot more damage to get to the next tier. For skills, you want to look at your skill efficiency and your skilling speed. Other than that, there are a few ways to increase your basic sampling size. This includes the star talent printer sampling to increase this from 10 to 18%. In the salt lick, you do have the samples taken for the 3D printer are up to 10% bigger. In the family bonuses tab, you do have the maestro's bonus to increase your printer sampling size. This is based off of his maximum level. 
in the post office's upgrades, if you have access to the utility box, it does increase the printer sample size up to 3.33%. In Alchemy, you do have the sample it yellow bubble. This is currently 4.26% for me. In the Alchemy vials, you do have the snow slurry. This is an easy three to 5%, depending if you can gain the required snowballs and tier three liquid. In the World 3 Tasks, you do have the Merit Shop, which can increase your printer sampling size by 0.5% per point spent in here, so an additional 5% printer sampling size. In the World 3 Prayer Obelisk, you do have access to the Royal Sampler. This gives you a base of 15% sample size with a negative of minus 30% to all XP gain. To remove this negative to your XP gain, you do have to unequip all samples on that character, so be careful with using this. You can upgrade this by using the Rooted Souls here. It increases your sample size, but also increases the penalty to your XP. Back in World 1, you do have the Sampling Stamp, or the Stample Stamp which can give you additional bonus to your sampling size. It is kind of small at first, but it can add up over time. And last but not least, in the arcade shop, you do have access to increase your sample size here. This has been my printer and sampling guide. This is Ice Locked with Nocturne Gaming. If you have any comments, thoughts, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.